people feel like that's where you're going to be just because you're from the hood. Well, you could also be like, look at Nipsey Hussle, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, he he, he was all hood crip though, until the day he passed away, bro. And he still made it out. Mm. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Sorry. What I can't stand about um, the hood or being raised in the hood is the fact that a lot of people make you feel like you're going to either be on the streets, in prison, you know, like... Or dead. Or dead. Mm -hmm. uh, just because of the environment, like, there's nobody good, but I've met people who were raised in the hood, mm -hmm. still had a single household, all of the statistics, and still came out, whether a doctor, lawyer, I mean, actually ro rose above it. And oh, not, yeah. you know, so why do people feel like that's where you're going to be just because you're from the hood? Well, you could also be, like, look at Nipsey Hussle, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, he, he, he was all hood crip though until the day he passed away bro and he still made it out mm -hmm. it's because a lot of people in our in the hood is talented it just lost talent and if if one person comes in like he was giving like he i know he helped a lot of his homies come into the music scene you know what i'm saying and go forward with it you know and that's the kind of what i'm trying to do you know try to do the same thing i have the light so i have a lot of homies around me that is talented and once you, it's like, that's what it's hard to get is to get make it in the music industry. That's the hardest thing. Once you're in there, then you, you go forward and you push and you grind. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's the work you put into it. You, you know, you, you, can't, you can't put music and you're not going to the studio. You can't be a music, like a rapper. You're not going to the studio laying down no tracks. Right, right. One of them out of, a, maybe you put out like a hundred tracks. What if one of them is a, one, is a, is a hit? You just need one hit. Mm -hmm. You just need one shot. I see the Lupe 46th Street, mm -hmm. the crib, 46th Street mm -hmm. crib. How did you end up even in, how did you get in? How mm -hmm. did it happen? I just, you know, when I came to the hood, bro, I, I, came, I came to the hood, bro. I went, I, I went there when I was 19. I started hanging out with them, and then, you know, I became. How long did it take before you knew that you was a part of it? Not too long, bro. Maybe about, like, six months. Really? Can, can somebody mm -hmm. be hanging with them and not actually join? Well, I was, I was like, I did. You know, you got to do certain things, right? You know, right, to be initiated. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But can you like say, I don't want to join, but I just want to just hang with y'all? We got, we got some homies that, 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 that are do not, that. Yeah. Oh, okay. I didn't know if it was allowed or not yeah. allowed or whatever. It's, it's like even some homies from from different states that they're not from there. They just hang out. You know what I'm saying? Okay. They do certain things. You know, they might help. That what we need, and then mm -hmm. you know they. I think some people feel like I don't have to join, but I'll be protected if I just hang out. I know it's not that. It's because a lot of them are like grew, grew up there. They were born okay. there, so like they they, so they grew up with everybody. They grew, yeah, they grew up there, so the, it's like then they're like basically they're like their family. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. They become part of it, but they're not. All right. You know, so they they oh they're always there. They're not. They're always gonna be there. When we have parties or, you know, when we have funerals or, you know, they're going to be there, bro. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101.